following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here on this very sudden stormy day. You can hear the thunder and lightning. It's a little hamlet there, right? Uh, double, double, toilet and trouble. So what we're looking at is the, let me just get rid of this crude oil price here. We'll come back to it in a moment. Let's go through this steadily. The Dow's are 323. At 35,543, and this is at 10.06 a.m. On a, on a Tuesday, the 28th of September. You see this monthly chart. I'm pretty sure we're making a peak D in the monthly chart. And just bumping up against the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. GCSC in the weekly chart. This is going to be a really important couple of days coming up. Okay, let's just go through this very, very slowly. The nine period moving average is sharply under the 14 period moving average in the daily chart. The weekly chart for the first time is starting to see the green nine period moving average start to get very, very close to that black line. That's the 14 period exponential moving average in the weekly chart. MACD has been in, the, in a kind of a, a independent cell mode all the way since May. Uh, we're looking at the stochastic down at 60% in the weekly chart. That's not good. We're looking at the unbalanced volume kind of rallying a little bit, but not that great. So the technicals in the Dow, even though the Dow was the strongest in this big rally from 33,613 after dropping from the all-time 35,631 high of August the 18th, uh, that bounced all the way to the high of what, 35,000, about 50 uh, yesterday. All of a sudden, what we're looking at is the technicals in the daily chart have still been in a sell mode um, parameter. And what's really important about this is that that arch formation in the Chapman Wave methodology, we always look for some kind of a failure after a sharp pullback that forms a peak A or a peak B in this pattern we call the dreaded A, straight line down, make it red because as it arches over, if it takes out that left side low significantly, you can make it, yep, look at that, there's the dreaded H right there, call it a dreaded H because once it takes out that left side low, it's vulnerable to a deeper slide and that's exactly what happened there on the 34,690 support that was taken out, boom, 33,613. And the next thing we know is that this rally turns out to be coincident to, let me just move this away right here, a technique that I developed over the years is it's right here. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping this is it. Uh, let's just give it a try. Right here called Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover. And I use the, in this particular instance, I've got the Dow and I'll show you this it goes, let me just squeeze this close. There we go. All right. You can see how often it's happened. You've got the rectangle formation that develops, and the price just goes in this H pattern, and it makes a successful test, and it has a sharp rally. H pattern, successful test that was back in 2020. Then, it, and then a whole bunch of small ones, small ones, small ones, smalls. Then we had a much larger one, which had the high of 30 5,091, I think, yep, 35,091 back in the, uh, the 10th of May. Look how long that lasted with a successful H pattern. Runs up again, makes a very small one right there with the low that was made around about the 18th or 19th of July. Bounces, and now all of a sudden, let me expand this. And this is one of the techniques that I developed a long time ago where I talk, I talk about bad news. The market... There's bad news every single day. It's how the Dow or the general market takes that news. Because if it's just news that washes off like water on a duck's back and just means nothing, then the market, the general trend of a market over decades and de over 100 and more years is that 
unless there's very serious news that impacts the market, the market generally wants like a cork in water, it generally wants to come up to the surface and move higher. That's the, the, the market is an optimistic, um, it's in an optimistic framework. And it just gets beaten down by bad news. Well, every once in a while, it ignores the bad news. But every once in a while, it takes the bad news and says, oh, my goodness. And now all of a sudden, you've got yields. We're going to get this to that right now. You see, we've broken below the rectangle formation. We've formed yet another within the, the dark news cloud cover. The market is taking news right now very seriously. What is that news? First of all, you can see um, in the general, let me just finish this up here. What is the general news? Well, the S&P is, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now, I can't remember if I did this in this particular segment or in the update, but I'll do it again. The S&P right now is trading at uh, down eight, 62 at 43.80. What happened here is it gapped down, had a really nice rally. There's a technique that I call this. Let me just draw this in here. It's called the falling axe, where the price rises and rises and rises, then it starts to turn down, makes lower highs and lower lows. Lower highs are much lower lows. Then all of a sudden it has a rally. Well, if that rally is very successful, this this downtrend, the upper downtrend line, where I put in a little tiny little narrow channel, and I call it the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. In this case, it's the Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone. If it manages to close sharply above that downtrend line, it can go one to one to the left side high very quickly in the same number of bars, same angle, same everything. But in this case, it failed. So we've got this repellent zone acting very strongly, like a magnet turned around instead of attracting, it's, it's, it's detracting, pushing away. And this is very sharp. And what's happening is that we are potentially making the pattern I was talking about in the Dow just a moment ago, the dreaded H pattern, it might be an inverted V. But in this particular pattern, most of the time it fails at a peak A or a peak B. I call it a gray A or gray B because the MACD and stochastic usually don't confirm. And that's exactly what we got here. I'll change the color. It should be gray. I didn't have time to change it. There it is. Gray. Okay. So this could become an A minus. So far, this is very bad. And what have we got? We've got a bunch of things going on. For the first time, we've got the QQQs failing to lead all-time high 382.78 on the 7th of July of September bam everything comes down it gaps down rallies up um, and it's got that peak end this is a this into this particular candle right here it says if there's a trade within it's not quite a Chapman wave Roman candle uh, but if there's a trade below 363 that holds for 60 to 90 minutes in this particular daily chart, you go to a shorter time frame, there's a really good chance that at some point very soon, you're going to test the low that was made, the most recent low in the H, uh, the dreaded H formation, and that's at 360.93. We're at 362.71, I should mention just for uh, clarification. Um, subscribers, are we have a, a small short position in the, uh, the QQQ. It's actually not the QQQ, it's three times short the Qs. So here it is, and peak E is probably a peak in the weekly chart, the G slash C in the monthly. Just real quickly, I'll do the IWM because when I come back, I want to talk about bonds, I want to talk about gold, I want to talk about color, and the, 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 the IWM Russell 2000 about three and a half. I'll be right back. That was a trap. Thank you. Now, the missions came in, and I hope I can deal with them soon. soon. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so the trap where we're always looking for four higher peaks, that gives us that peak D. We're going to see that probably in the monthly chart of the Dow. That's where other things can happen. Look at this peak D in the two-minute chart back at about 4405 in the E-mini, S&P E-mini. Where, where are we now? 4361. Huh. This, is, this is serious stuff. Uh, what we're looking at also is within the context of, here we go, uh, just to finish up with the markets, I was mentioning in the update, the 10 a.m. update, that the MDY, that's the S&P mid-cap deposit receipts, don't often, people don't seem to talk about it, but it's really been a very important uh, a piece of, uh, of the, the, the whole smorgasbord of the different indices, and these are the mid-caps, and it makes a high. I, if I can get it, it was in the 507.58 or something like that. I may as well give you the exact figure. 507.63 back in the week of the 30th of April. And lo and behold, you remember, this is this is the fascination that for, for some of us who have been in the markets for not years but decades, the fascination is... How do these things, how does the market know to do this? It goes within 50 cents. This is a, a huge S&P mid-cap deposit receipts trading in the 500s. It pulls back from the 500 and whatever I said, 507s, down to the 465, was it? 464.30 level in July rallies all the way back in a shorter time frame and misses making a new high by what was it, 36 cents or something like that? Unbelievable how that happens. It's the same as when I talk about trend lines. I talk about these trend lines and I say, how does the market know that you can draw a straight line and it goes to exactly that line? You can understand horizontal. People remember the number 200. So you come back, you say, watch out for the 200. But you don't remember 205, 2010, oh, sorry, 210 and 215, the every increments like that on a, on a diagonal. So it's just amazing how that works in the market. I have a theory about it, but we're not going to go into that right now. This can make in September a peak C1, C2. Why do I say that? Because if you look at the uh, IWM uh, monthly chart, IWM monthly chart, you've got already a peak C1, C2, where it also, by one point, less than a point, missed a double top high. 
How does my how does the market do? How does it know to go in a rectangle? That's a little different. Rectangle goes up to the 234, 35 level, down to the 210 level, 208 level, back up again, and now we'll see what happens. But we were waiting to see whether the IWM had uh, the push forward that was necessary to show some leadership again, and that seems to be fading. Oh, okay, now we get to the nitty gritties. Crude oil. I'm suspecting we are just about to make a very short term, very short term top in crude oil leg E in the daily chart of the crude oil continuous contract, D slash B in the weekly chart, and leg D in the monthly chart. Why do I say that? Well, there are a couple of reasons, but if you go look at this OIH, there's your leg D, big spike to the upside, started to reverse, makes a high today of 209.34, trading right now at 202.89, still up at $1.90. The pattern said that from the unbalanced volume that it was getting a little bit, a little choppy. If you look at a number of stocks uh, within the category of crude, I'm not saying do short, not at all. This is this is the category that you're going to be watching so closely because crude oil has been moving. If you're looking at something like a Chevron, CVX, look at this. Oh, I didn't update it. Let's go to Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil. This is your leg E screams to the upside. Now, this is one that I've had trouble with for subscribers. We had got into it quite a while ago as a dividend stock. It looked like it was doing well. And then I said, no, I'm, I'm making a tight stop. I'm not prepared to give up the dividend at any point because there's a, a, a capital loss if we, were need, we needed to sell at any point. So we got out of it and it plummeted from the 61s down to the 52 area. That's a big move in a dividend stock. All of a sudden, it's back to 59. It's tough choosing dividend stocks unless you're prepared to stay in for the long term and you go through these whippy i i just can't do that right now i i think in fact it is it is both chevron exxon mobile i think they're in play for 2020 because this crude oil just we'll see what happens here but that is a spectacular move in crude oil going all the way from um from 62 uh, under 62 so from 61 back in August, in August, just August, and then it spikes today to 76. That's a big move. And look at this V-shaped pattern in the weekly chart. MACD hasn't yet crossed in the weekly, hasn't crossed positive. When it does, that's still going to add fuel to the fire. And the monthly chart, leg D with good technicals. <laughs> I'm watching this closely. Yeah, we don't have, you know, I've spoken about it. I don't know how many times we've seen some of these uh, very low-priced screamer oil service uh, stocks Really, I mean, yeah, there's one that just constantly has been showing up on our list. Uh, let me see, ERF, is that the one, ERF? Uh, Enerflex, these are energy plays. Look at this big move up. You've had um, TEL came back onto the list again. Look at that move up, leg F, sharp move to break to a new recovery high at 425. Pulls back, it's now down eight, uh, 16 cents at 3.94. I think on a short term basis, we are getting a little overbought here. Let's look at the dollar because the dollar and, and oil sometimes, to, for the two to go together in the, historically, that doesn't usually happen. Or very often, dollar pulls back, oil moves up. But in this particular case, you've got the two moving together. Uh, the dollar, we're still long for subscribers to my opening call. We're still long the dollar. 93.77 right now, 38 cents. Leg E. Got to watch this very closely. So let's go to gold. Gold is pulling back very sharply. Trough leg after the downside, making the arch formation, the dreaded H in the weekly chart, monthly chart, same sort of thing. When money comes out of the general market, very often it also takes money from gold, from the gold stocks. People just say, okay, I'm going to use some of the, my profits or whatever they are to get out. But in this case, Gold has been pulling back for a little while, the whole of September. So it's gone from the just under 1840 down to today's low of 1727. That's that's quite a big move, uh, especially for gold. Uh, looking at silver, silver is down just a little bit, down 21 cents at 2248. It's been holding the left side low in the dreaded H pattern. So isn't it funny? I keep talking about how silver and gold have this. In the trend, they tend to follow. On a shorter trend, they can have different chart patterns. In their weekly charts, they have very different patterns. So I'm looking at this and thinking, silver in the monthly chart is showing that it, it's kind of weak. The uh, gold on a monthly basis is showing that it is weak, but holding above the left side low. 
and it's had a lot of 1700 support so we're going to be watching that 1700 level is this time where gold gets a little bit of a bounce well let's go to high grade copper another one of the part of the commodity uh, um, look we're looking at down 0.03 at 4.25 holding quite nicely but in the lower range and i always like to put it together with wood the iShares timber and forestry etf well lo and behold lo and behold it didn't show up yep it's down um 82 cents also with a peak a it could be an, an arch failure after the peak d remember in chapter wave methodology these can be very important look at the d at this particular d at just over 92 where it plunged uh, in september down to the 200 period moving average look at the high that was made in may of 98.98 uh wood wood trading at 86.69 yeah it's sort of just a cypress consolidation in the lower range I'll be back the moment Dow is now 435, accelerating the S&P starts. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Hello, so from that peak E that was made around about 9.22 or so at about a 44.10 level in the S&P E mini, look at this, it turned pink, went under the 200 period moving average and right here it's attempted to find some kind of support down 71 at 43.62. Uh, everything will change for this afternoon, for whatever reason, I don't care what the reason is, if there's uh, some kind of a rally that takes you towards the 4386 to the 4390 level, that'll say, you know what, 
uh, there's something, some kind of news event is going to try and ameliorate some of the, the thrashing that's going on right now. But most importantly, what we're looking at is if there is another whoosh to the downside, I just think that a lot of people are going to say, you know what, a good stock, bad stock, I'm just going to take a little bit of my profits or I'm going to take a, a little bit of a loss and get out right now. I'd rather be sitting on the side if things are going to get much worse. A question uh, in the den was, um, do, Fang, do Fang Basel, is it a true oil stock? Well, it's in the energy sector. I just, I can't remember offhand. Oh, I meant to look at that earlier. I'm not going to take too much time right now. Uh, but it's in the G-C, uh, down $1.22 $1 at 94.26. This is a stock that was making... Uh, testing the 200 period exponential moving average back in August uh, when it went under the 273, went down to the 65s. Now it is in the 90s. I mean, <laughs> that is that is really a, quite a gain for, you know, this is, and there's this one that I did before, chap wave overlapping wave goes to leg D, went to a D, and even went to an E back in July. So this monthly chart looks very good. And as I'm talking, I'm going to just do this, if you don't mind, I'm just going to put uh, diamond backed, diamond back energy does what? And it's an independent oil, natural gas. I used to have that written in here. Uh, natural gas, um, oil, independent oil, natural gas company, which engages in the acquisition, development, exploration, expo exploitation. What a word to use there. Exploitation. You're exploiting? Oh, my goodness. Of unconventional onshore oil and natural gas reserves. Operates through the upstream and midstream services segment. Yeah, I think this is in play, and it's going to retest the high that was made in the 100, 102 area uh, back in uh, Ju July, first week, I think it was of July. Um, so I tried to get, yes, S&P says, I tried to get the den to buy Fang when I was buying. Yep, I remember that. <laughs> Boz and says, try, try harder next time. No, I think you mentioned a n number of times S&P. So um, XEC, I had a question about that. XEC is what? This is uh, C, Chimarex Energy. Same sort of thing, little doji candle probably forming right here. It's in peak A, peak B, peak C. And this is leg D in the daily chart. And uh, monthly chart is A, B, C. D E, leg E, huge candle. And usually what happens after a huge candle like this, you get a consolidation candle. So I think we're real close to the oil, just at least having some kind of a consolidation. Um, so now I have to go back to a couple of things. Uh, yes, I agree. A lot of put buying. Um, um, no. Three stocks breaking out. No, that's an old one. There's a big surprise coming. Paul, I, I, I agree because this is the first time we've had follow through in the VIX index. Look, here it is. Since that high was made on the 28th, at 28.79, back on the 19th, I think it was, of September, and pulled back very sharply to uh, under 18, and now we're trading at 23.58. I suspect the candle, this weekly candle, is going to be a pretty green candle coming to the Friday close, unless something spectacular happens uh, with the market appreciating politically what, what, what's going on. Whatever is happening, it's expedience that, that counts. Um, uh, debt default, I just don't think there'll be, uh, at this particular default, wow, there better not be a default um, because things always get paid, but it creates such paperwork hav havoc and, and such insecurity for the general market um, that that's not the way to go. All right, so let's get out of this because we can't make these decisions. This is a political framework, and we have to wait for that. Um, yes. So the question was: Is the is the is the weakness in the um, high grade copper an international thing? Yeah. Usually we consider. For me, the I I shares timber and forestry ETF wood W O D and high grade copper always is telling me about the economies around the world. Now I can go back to the FXI. Is FXI going to start to show some strength here as the, let's say, the European markets, the American and European markets tank? I don't know. There's a lot going on in China, and they've made some big decisions lately that are not 
we can call them political decisions. For them, it is just macro decisions. You know, the, China has a long-term, people always talk about the long-term, long-term, long-term outlook in China. It's, that's absolutely true. But they are also very cognizant now that they've become a capitalist country, whether they like it or not, they have to be aware of all the nuances, all the ex exigent um, aspects that could just suddenly blow, th blow things up on the shorter term. So I suspect that the FXI is in a struggle. I don't see it showing leadership right now. When we come out of this, maybe it does, but not right now. Let's look at the, uh, someone said, if you look at the HGX index that you always look at on the weekend. Yes, this is the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index, making the dreaded H retesting again, the 200 period moving average. In the daily chart, little mini H pattern, the previous one failed. There's this big dreaded H pattern with the horrible failure. Uh, did make a leg G in the weekly chart way back in the beginning of May. I think it was the week of May the 1st. Let's see what that is. That is, yep, no, the 14th, the week of the 14th of May at 538.36 trading now at 455 down 7.5. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. I do have a peak B in the, in the weekly and the monthly chart. G is in the uh, weekly chart with an H pattern. If, if it closes in October, any any day, let alone any week, but any day that it closes under 442, it's at 5, 455 right now. That's far away. But if it does that, this is going to be a much deeper. It won't be a correction. I think we're in for something a lot deeper. But in the meantime, all we can say is don't get panicked. Yes, we're down 400. But wait a minute. Weren't we up? Look at this. It wasn't the Dow up. Look at these huge candles on the upside. So this is just one day after recovery high, hitting the resistance level in the Dow. Remember, the Dow has a mix that is favorable. What, what is happening to Boeing? What was the question? Yeah, could you look at the cyclicals like Boeing and Caterpillar? So Boeing is down 380, 220.38. Had a very nice move up to that leg B high in the high 220s. And now it's at 220. Well, it was 228 and a half, wasn't it? I can't remember right now. I remember following it yesterday. Uh, 228.60. And now we're down at 220. Not a big deal. But, it, but Boeing could be starting to get ready in the next uh, month or two where finally we might see some some progress. And can you believe after that severe crash and Boeing was trading, 446.01 was a high in March of 2019. Then there was this incredible candle. I think this was not March of 2020. No, it was before March of 2020. It takes a dip all the way down to under 100. Drops from 446 to under 100. Trading now 220. It's actually holding pretty well when you think about everything that's going on. I'll be back in a moment. How's the chaplain? Thank you, Nations Hour. Dow's down 344. Has it been down 80? Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So you can see this little rally attempt. Yeah, yep, there it is. Uh, peak A, peak B, peak C, and leg D. Made a peak D. Still trying to rally a little. This is a counter trend balance we've got right here. Very important. You've got to have these. Otherwise, oh, it should be just terrible. We're at 43.70, down 62. Okay, now let's just go back to our story here. So the questions have come in. So NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA, dreaded H. Uh, Pat says, watching for it to... Hold or break support. Yep. So uh, we're watching this closely because this is in the semiconductors. And this is one of the leaders in semiconductors. NVIDIA, uh, NVDA, 208.59, down 8 right now. It ran right up to the Chapman Wave inside track re repellent zone. Pulls back in peak A. Um, this becomes an A- minus if it starts to go into the 205 area. I'm watching these really closely. I think, isn't it today that uh, Micron has its earnings report? Micron, 73.45, down $1.73. It doesn't look like it could do anything today. Um, it looks, in fact, like a failure pattern. But you never know. Earnings come out. Oh, could, uh, could pop eight points. Who knows? 73.41 right now, down $1.77. I'm just watching this closely because the SMHs, there's always our clue. SMHs have made an H pattern, not yet a dreaded H, but it's, it's down eight at 263.38. It ran up to 276.69, all-time high at a peak E in the chapter. We made the arch formation, leg F, probably a peak F in the weekly chart. We won't know for a, a little bit. And I'm watching this because a new all-time high in the week, the, in the monthly chart. If the semis, which always lead the market up and down and up and down, um, if they start to tank and any, in the first week of October, that's next week, if you start to see the semi, semis close any day under 258, that is really very negative action because that's below the 14 period moving average in the weekly chart. It hasn't done that. It hasn't closed under that. It's been under it many times. But since um, early May, off that low in May, that was where it went under the 14 period moving average. And then the next week, it was a green candle, but did close again under. And that was it. It's been under before, but it's very quickly turned up. So that's going to be a big deal. And any time, if it, if it goes to the 2, 270, wow, if it goes to 274 by, by next week, that is very good, very strong action. I'm trying to be as objective as possible here. We've, for subscribers to an opening call, we've raised a lot of cash. We have positions. Uh, we we, we um, had spectacular moves in some of our positions. I mean, let me just show you here. This A Agilent, look at the sharp move from the all-time high of 179.57. We're along from a 70, taking a, a, quite a few small positions off, still have a core position. I just want to hold it. There's nothing to do. I should have probably said, hey, if you're interested, let's go to the put side. I just decided after these two dreaded H patterns, and we'll, we'll just hold it at peak F in the monthly. Look at TMO. This is an incredible company also. So efficient dynamics. Down 21 today at 573. We're along from 484 uh, back in June of this year. Took, uh, small, uh, took small pieces off 
all the way to the last one, which was at um, up 103 points, up 21 percent, at 616.93 on the 23rd of of September. We got out. Um, we got out at uh, what was it 587. We're trading at 573 right now. It's only a leg C in the in the weekly chart, but that monthly chart E slash P. I'm watching this very closely. I, I, I could pull back very sharply, and it has already uh, 570 uh, 570 low today after 660. It's 40 points. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty darn big move. And with the two, three uh, two Doji candles at the top. I'm just watching these things very closely. So this has been a time to take profits, try to uh, get into positions. We have one position which is holding OK, did a real nice move yesterday, giving back some today. I think it's going to be vulnerable, but so far it's good. And as I say, we are short the S, the um, QQQ with a small position and the uh, SQQ, which is three times short. Um, and that's moved from our 720s entry to 837 right now. Hey, the day's young. Anything can happen. So, I, so the next question is, could you just quickly go through your uh, FANG stocks? This is F-A-A-N-G, not FANG, Diamondback. Uh, this is F, what are we doing? Amazon. Let's do Amazon first. Amazon down a little bit, down 75 at 3,330. This is the dreaded H pattern that we're looking at. Made a peak B, a big, a much larger one, all-time high, way back at 3773 on the 13th of July. Did the H pattern one to one to the downside, continued lower, huge one from the 3175 rally to the 3550s. Uh, and now what we're looking at is, is a small one. This is this is a problem because when you see the the leadership start to to falter, and that's what's happening. Look at Apple, A A P L. Apple is trading down two point. Mm, let me just get this going here. Uh, Apple is down 2.28 to 143.10. Also, pattern that looks like the dreaded age, 157.26 all time high on the 7th of July. Big pullback. Uh, we go down to the 141 level, bounce to the 147s, and now here you are at 143. Peak E in the weekly chart. This is actually, I, I have to wait for Friday, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to put a down arrow here for a sell signal in the weekly chart, leg F in the monthly. Let's go to uh, whatever we want to, F Facebook. Facebook, same thing, making it, almost making the dreaded edge, taking out the left side low again um, at down 11 at 341. Let's look at uh, Goog, Googie. Goog is trading down, broken the left side low, down 97 at 2732 PD, doji high. Well, well, this is serious stuff, folks. It's the first time that you've had leadership now we're going to see whether there's ro rotational leadership as some sectors that have been really beaten down for some time have had a longer uh, extension move to the upside. Let's look at XOP, which is the, um, there we go, a new recovery high, not an all-time high. It just making a leg D in the monthly chart, uh, but it had a peak E high that was made right here in the, month, in the week, the, on the week of the 9th of July. At 97.23, today's high is 90 is 100.43. Is this a new leg E? Whoops, I can't put it down arrow like that when uh, the MACD didn't close negative uh, and the 9 is above the 40. So that's D with a plus sign. This is leg E. And that's the reason why I'm saying I think we just on a very short term basis, we just got to be a little careful here because we could see crude oil start to pull back and all these energy stock related stocks. Now, is this, look, because the starting point in XOP, this is the SP oil and, and gas exploration, when it started that move back in October, November of last of 2020, the low was at 39. 38.39 October, the week of October the 30th, 2020. So that was your low, and then you made a peak E pullback. Well, if you don't take out that low, this can be a continuation pattern. So this could be either a GF slash B or a brand new B. But the chart itself looks very much like this is just a brand new leg B. The MACD is just turned positive, stochastic's rallying, it has room to go. So all I can say is, started a leg D in the monthly chart. This is really good action. So now I need to just, as we're about to break, because we've got one more segment to go, uh, questions in the den. DDD, this is 3D Systems. 
big digestive phase. I think that these are the stocks that will come back, like the DDD 3D systems, uh, GT, which is the, uh, uh, the these are, uh, this is the tire company, Google Tire, uh, trading down 50 cents. This is acti actually acting quite well. I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, let, let's just do this uh, as we're about to wrap up. We've got great programming coming up. You know, we start off the day at 9 with Tommy Jr. Just really a great introduction to the, the more the, 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 what we're looking at during the day for the market. Uh, all these different fundamental and technical aspects it looks at. And then, of course, uh, we've got 10 o'clock my show. We've got uh, Think or Swim. I think from Monday, I think uh, uh, Larry's going to be doing the 11 o'clock time frame. Um, and then we've, you know, we've got program. We've got Steve Rose, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom a little later today. So let's just make this as clear as possible. There's uncertainty in, in, in the market. Uh, we, we've only given back in the Dow just a little bit from the, the gains that we made uh, starting off uh, just a couple of days ago. So uh, down 381. If the Dow starts, I'd say 34,400 was key to me. If there's a close under 34,400, we have to consider there's a pattern here that I call the dreaded H, lowercase h, and just be real careful. By a Thursday afternoon, if there's no rally above 34,900, that's a real problem. Let's go to the uh, s and No, I don't have to go to this. Is, this is comparable to everything else. What we really want to look at here is the volatility index. So if the volatility index today is at 2334, up 4.54, up 24%, that's a huge gain. If it holds, if there's no counter-trend rally, 
with the VIX index starting to slide under 22. But in fact, by 130 into 230, the market is holding steadily, a, a very negative, and then all of a sudden it starts to accelerate after three o'clock. Watch the VIX, because if the VIX rallies, that, that is the, the uh, market accelerates lower. If the VIX accelerates above 20, today's high is 23.88. If you're seeing the VIX above 24.30 after 3 o'clock, I'd say you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful overnight, and it could be a real ugly day tomorrow. So let's just go one step at a time. The day is not finished. The day is young. Watch this closely. And also be prepared. If you haven't taken off some something you want, have some cash ready. Keep some beautiful buys coming up. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back. Check out Robert Gorma Daily News.